So I initially made this video before the patch, but the patch has dropped and check this out, dog. Based on feedback gathered from the community about the player lock camera, they are giving us the Mutt Squad's position-specific cameras. <laughs> Holy moly. So we still don't have the behind-the-player superstar player lock camera on defense, basically. So I'm just going to go ahead and play this video. I was about to delete this because I thought it was actually fixed when I was reading the patch. But when I got in game and I saw that it still was not there, I was like, wow. Based on <laughs> feedback gathered from the community. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into it right now. Now, this right here is Madden 18. This is the superstar camera, the defensive camera, player lock, whatever you want to call it. But this was default when you went to player franchise and you play it on defense. I fought to get this camera in the game for years because it was in NCAA football and Madden did not have it in there. Now this is Madden 19 and magically the camera is not here. Check this out. I can't even see what Russell Wilson is doing at the moment, man. How is this fun? Look how far away everything is. And of course they're going to complete that pass. If I was able to see Russell Wilson, I guarantee you I would have had an interception. So I'm going to show you a quick fix on how to get that camera to work for your player in Madden 19. But first, here's a little trick right here on how you can get the number that you want on the team that you want to play for. Aqib Tlaib wears number 21 on the Rams, but you know I always rock 21. So I went into manage rosters and I changed his number and you want to make sure you save this. Now I'm going to call this file player LO for player lock. Now what we have to do is go create our player that we want to play with in the franchise mode. So we're going to go ahead and do that. My dude is going to be named London. Ba -ba 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 Boys! And we are going to be playing free safety for the Rams. And there is that number 21. Beautiful stuff. Greensboro, North Kagalaki. That's where we at right now. And you know I like to rock 21 for Deion Sanders. He was my all-time favorite defensive back. And we are going to be out there doing our thing. So I'm going through doing a little customization. Now the cool thing about this process is you can make your player as good as you want, my dude. <laughs> So I'm going to go in here and mess with my attributes and make my dude a monster when I'm out there on the football field. Now, this is Madden's fault. Yeah, if y'all would have put the camera in player franchise, I wouldn't have to come over here and do all this. And it is really ridiculous that we have to go through this just to get the camera that we like. Now, I know a lot of people said they really don't rock with that defensive player a lot camera. Hey, man, that's your preference. But the whole point is they had it in Madden 18, Madden 17, and whatever. And all of a sudden it's gone. Why? You have to give everyone an option to use what they want on the game. It really makes me not even want to play Madden 19 as a defensive player. And I've had several people hit me up about that. You know, so it's kind of crazy. But anyway, yeah, you see I'm juicing my dude up. That's what they get. I'm going to come out here and dominate now. You feel me? I'm going to be a 99 overall hard hitting. And I'm still going through customizing my character. Now, I still wonder why there is no career mode in Madden. Think about if 2K had NFL rights, how crazy the game would be. But we'll get to that in a minute. What you want to do is save this player on the same file that you changed that number on. So I'm going to save him on to player LO. Now, this is very important. You want to go to visual feedback. And I think this is where the problem lies with the camera. You see right here, defensive camera settings. I put it on defensive perspective. Now that is that player lock behind the player camera. Now look at franchise player role camera settings. That camera was not even on there. The only thing they had was player lock. And I think there's a glitch with the player lock camera. So you want to come over here and start a new franchise. And you want to make sure you use that current roster that you had loaded up. And if it's correct, you can go over to the team that you put your player on, and he will be sitting right there. London beats a 99 overall. Change the role, don't pick player. Do either owner or coach, you feel me? Do not do player. Owner or coach. I'm just going to do active owner. And the settings right here don't matter. I was just going through showing you what I play mine on. 
Now to start off, I have injuries off just because I don't want anyone to get hurt in the preseason. But then I end up going back and changing that. You feel me? So now, as you see, we're about to start our season. We're loading in the franchise. Go to the depth chart. Make sure your guy that you are playing with is loaded into the game and he is starting because you want him to be out there on the field. So just do a quick check. Look, I went over the cornerback thinking I was a corner, but I forgot I picked safety. Hybrid free safety. And now we're going into the game. Look at the beautiful graphics here on the Xbox One X. But like I was saying, 2K5 had freaking Chris Berman at the halftime show. That game was way above his time. It's 2018 now. What is going on, man? And we need that career mode. So here's the camera. All you have to do is switch it to the player that you want to basically be locked on. And that is me back there playing safety. You feel me? Now, this process is kind of annoying, and, you know, you shouldn't have to go through all this. But if you really want to play on this camera like I do, then just go through the steps that I did and either do owner or coach and just select a player every time you're on defense. You know what I'm saying? So the steps were pretty simple. Go change the player's number if you really want that number. Then create your player. Then make sure you save him on that same roster file. Then you go over to Franchise and start one up. Use the current roster and then select either coach or owner. Fix your settings and all that good stuff. And then you're out here on the football field. Now, as far as not playing the offense, you can just go to Super Sim if you want it to be pretty much just like how you play in player franchise. And I actually simulated until the possession changed. So my offense is out here on the field right now. You see that? So, man, crazy stuff. I cannot believe that the camera is not there. I have relayed the information over to EA. They should be looking into it. Hopefully, when a patch drops, this will be fixed and we won't have to go through all this crazy stuff just to be on the defensive camera. Look how much better that looks than the other one. You see the angles? You see how close you are? Now, this isn't really perfect as you see it's not really player lock as it was still stuck on lynch but this is about as best as we can get it right now folks and you know i'm gonna be out here making plays most definitely i got the camera back i can see what the quarterback is doing in the backfield i can see when they're handing the ball off or they're running play action and i can bait the quarterback give me that the user 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 See what I'm talking about! Leave me a like for more. I like doing videos like this to help you guys out. I'm gonna start bringing these issues to their attention. That nasty. Hey.